Welcome back guys to Pinoy Bounce. I'm your host Marky Mark and we're still here with Top Shot Tandy for our second segment. And in this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how to utilize the website or looking into uh, some of the features that Top Shot Tandy has maybe show us what's his favorite features that he's we've recently, I guess, improved in the Dapro Labs and kind of walk us through how to use it, you know, for new beginners uh, of Top Shot so that they can see how to use it or like how to kind of walk through the platform. So Tandy, talk to, talk to us about one of the segments that you kind of like that they have now on Top Shot. Or we can talk about showcase challenges, actually. One yeah. of the coolest things that they've added recently is this showcase challenge builder. Now, although there is no active showcase now to, to walk you through it, basically the way it works is there might be a challenge and it'll tell you, you need five different moments and one needs to be an assist and one needs to be a dunk and one needs to be, you know, uh, different plays or different players. And it will automatically show you which of those players you have in your collection or it, I don't know if it actually can link you to those moments to then go purchase on the uh, platform. But that to me is a really amazing thing that they've added. They've made it very user-friendly. It was nothing like that in the past. You had to go open three different windows and do arithmetic in your head to figure out how to buy the correct moments for the, for the particular challenges. So unfortunately, there's no active challenge to show that off, but that's a, that's a really amazing thing for people who want to get involved, who want to try to make their way to win one of these rewards that you get, like this one that you did here, the 2021 All-Star Game Challenge 2, which is a little blurry. I can't tell if that's Damian Lillard or Giannis. That's Dame, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's cool but, uh, because, uh, yeah, how do we used to do it back then? Like, was, um, what, it shows here and then you, they kind of show this kind of, you know, all the moments that you needed and then they'll have like a, what, a green check mark if you have it. And if you don't, then you got to like click it. Then you got to go, you know, and look for it. Um, yeah. But yeah. And I, it, and I remember sometimes it was kind of unclear. You, you yeah. sometimes would complain it, you'd complete it and you weren't even sure if you did it correctly. And now it's all very user friendly. You see what you're missing, you see what you have, and it's all, it all lights up green when you're done. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah, like that's one of my favorite thing as well. And like, you know, what thing that they've started doing as well is the quest, right? So they've also done the same, um, the same features for doing a quest, right? So it literally, here's the moment, add it into. The, but the difference was they have a submission now, right? Which is really cool. For doing challenges before, you almost just do it, and then you wait until the you know the night until it ends, and then they say, oh, you did it. But now they have a submission um, uh, feature where you add the moment into that box distance and then press submit. So then you've actually felt like you actually submitted it. And then it kind of takes out that anxiety that you felt like if you did something or you might have accidentally sold the moment, right? So that, that, that's a cool feature. Um, for, new, for new, I guess, new or early on um, collectors, what's some of the things that you think would help them now in terms of purchasing or looking for certain moments? That they want to buy so maybe we can look into the marketplace and give us kind of a a walkthrough of some things that you would give them as a tip sure so actually it's a good segue because we just talked about challenges um yeah. and also I, I don't think they're calling them quests anymore it's now showcase challenges and challenges mm -hmm. um, so it's good to understand what happens when moments are in challenges so for those who are uninformed when there is a challenge happening, the entire market goes to buy those moments to try to get the reward. And what ends up happening is there's a whole lot of a rush of demand of a certain moment and they end up spiking in price. As you can see, there's, this is a feature they just added today, which is showing which moments are so-called hot. And mm -hmm. in many of the cases here, these are moments that um, are hot because they were part of a challenge. So if you end up buying a moment that is hot, that is part of a challenge, you have to understand that if it's part of a challenge and the challenge is active, then that price is going to be higher than it will be when the challenge is over. So for people who are new to the platform, it's really important to understand that how that works when challenges are running. Um, the other things that are really cool for new users is that there are metrics on the page for a particular moment like this one. If you want to scroll down, it shows the current price at $50. It also shows you the average price over the last few days. 
So I'm not 100% sure, but I think that this moment was in a challenge that has now ended. And that's why you're seeing that previously over the last few days, the average price of this moment was higher than it is now. But that also gives you just a quick glance at is this moment something that is rising in price, there's more demand for it, or is it dropping in price and maybe there's less demand for it and people are trying to get rid of it. If that's a moment that's not in a challenge, that is obviously more telling because a challenge will usually, like I said, it'll usually follow a very similar trend. The other thing that's really important to know whenever you're thinking about buying a moment is the circulation. So if you scroll down, you're let's, gonna see- Let's pick another one because this one is a, um... This one is a challenge one, so all of this is probably. Oh, we can show this one to them because this is a challenge. Yeah, there all right. So, so, if you wanted to buy oh. one at this moment, you can see that there's about a thousand, or there's 300, in this case, there's 384 of them hidden in packs, which is actually not a lot. So, this mm. one would not be that like scary of a moment to go and buy. But the way that they release moments in packs they will sometimes only release like half of the circulation of a moment. So they might release, I'm a Celtics fan, they might release a Robert Williams the third moment and they're only releasing half of the circulation and you to buy it, it might be $40. But what's very risky is there's still half in packs. So if they release those packs a few days later, that's a lot of new supply in the market and that's gonna create downward pressure. And that moment that you bought for 40, there's going to be a whole lot of people trying to trying to sell it at 40 and then at 38 and at 36 and 34 and that's why you have to be very cognizant of how many of a moment are still in packs and that's what this chart shows you if you see a lot of blue you're pretty much safe mm -hmm. if you see half blue be careful no this is good to um this is a new feature that they've had in top shot recently not so long ago and this really helps for any sort of buyer to understand the supply uh, circulation of a moment that they want to purchase, right? So understanding if you're going to purchase at this price, understand whether you've had a certain percentage on sale, certain percentage that's not for sale, and certain percentage either in packs, unavailable or burn, which is another feature that are probably going to start having, to be able to burn um, moments for maybe any sort of utility in the future. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's really cool to have. And um, for new buyers out there, I hope these kind of these kind of things uh, we learn through experience from on our end but for you guys you're getting a lot of good things that we as a community uh together in top shot really propose these kind of uh, suggestions to make the experience better so then new users that comes in don't went through what we went through during the february march area right so um i hope you guys enjoyed that second segment but when we come back, we still have Tasha Tandy, but this time we're going to go through his collection and his showcase. And he's going to walk us through some of his favorite moments in his collection and also his top grail, holy grail moment, I say it, on this episode. So stay tuned, guys. <laughs> 